is how is everyone doing today let me get everybody pulled up here on my iPad welcome to my page good morning I know Becky was finishing up oh come on I see ya I see some people coming on good morning How's everybody doing today? I see some hearts. I see some life. <laughs> Got my coffee. Hi, Tracy. How are you, my friend? Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Joanne. Good morning, Mary Jo. Dee Dee, good morning, my friend. Come on in, guys. I'm doing something a little bit different for me today. Good morning, Kathy from Farmhouse Glitter. Hello, Pam. Thank you for sprinkling. Good morning, Sybil. How are you? Carolyn, good morning. Come on in, y'all. So I did do a little bit of prep work last night. Good morning, Clarice. Good morning, Jennifer. How are you? Guys, I'm struggling a little this morning. Still not feeling good. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, Maureen. Hi, Terry. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, Darlene. Come on in, guys. I hope you all watched Becky. Her projects are always amazing. She's getting close to 20,000, so if you don't follow Simple Spruce Studio, y'all need to follow her. She does amazing vintage thrifts and flips and all the things. Good morning, sweet Lori. You got coffee and crafting. All right. Hi, Stacy. I'm glad you're here. Good morning, Stephanie. So last night, I took my Crayola Air Dry Clay and I took my trimmings mold. And you guys, I linked, hi Ruth, hi Annabelle. I linked in my links um, to Scrappy's Rustics. She does have three of these available, the last that I checked. So if you're interested in these molds, molds that's the one I did the egg, used for the egg that was so popular. I did put, end up putting it on a base, but this is the mold. And Tracy at Scrappy's Rustics does have some. Um, so I put the link. If you go down to the bottom of your screen, there's like a, a link icon. You can It'll take you right to the mold. So you need that mold in your life. You do. You really do. Good morning, Debbie. Okay, Lisette, thank you. So I have um, this tag that Julie from D&J Craft and Creation sent me. And I went ahead and I used the molds. I used the, I don't know what you would call this one, but it's the one right here in the center. And I took it right out of the mold and I, I shaped it. And I made this kind of like faux frame. Good morning, Shelly. Hi, Mindy. Good morning, Pam. So that is what I did so far, okay? And then I have this rusted fabric that Jill sent me from L Rusty Leaf Studio. We're gonna incorporate that. I have some rusty safety pens that I rusted myself. I have some buttons and a coffee stain doily. Doily, that always sounds funny to say, doesn't it? And then I have these things, they're Tim Holtz. I got them a few weeks back. It's Ideology, and there's a bunch of different papers in here. Oh my, and they're double-sided. Oh my gosh, I just love it. So I have this paper we're going to use, and I have this pair of black-handled old, old scissors that I got at the antique store where my booth is. Good morning, Becky. I was just talking about you. We need to get our girl to um, 20000 She's doing a big giveaway. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to start by painting our, our tag and our molding. And then we're going to put all of this together. This is kind of a new thing for me. I've never done anything like it, but I kept seeing it on Pinterest. Good morning, Rachel. 
So I, I don't know. I just, I have to do it. I just loved it. So let me find a paintbrush. I'm just going to use a chippy brush and we're going to get, I don't know. This is getting low, like low, 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 low. I might just pour it in the center. How's everybody doing? I hope nobody else has been sick because it is no fun, you guys. No fun at all. I think I've slept more than I've been awake lately. I just do not feel well at all. But we're going to make something pretty and we're going to talk and have coffee. It's actually snowing in Ohio. We've been pretty fortunate this winter. As I, you guys may have heard me say, my husband finally got a snowblower and hasn't been able to use it yet this season. And we did get some snow, but not enough to have to worry about doing all that with. So I'm just using my um, home decor in rich black chalk paint, and I'm just going over the, the entire piece. Hi, Renee. How are you? Hi, Stephanie from the Vintage Pebble. My friend Renee from She Shed Crafting with Renee. Hi, Danny. Okay. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? Thank you so much. Yeah, Scrappy's Rustics. It is pinned in the links. And if you click that link, it'll take you right to the IOD mold that I'm using. It's called Trimmings two and when I looked this morning and I copied the link she had three available now if if for some reason she sold out um I know my friend Kathy from farmhouse glitter has gotten has, has ordered hers on Etsy Now, I know that Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy with Mara, I know that she is an IOD stockist too. When I looked for hers last week, I didn't see that she had any, but you could check her page because I do know that she is a stockist as well. And I'm just kind of dabbing in to get in the in between all this. Yes, hello, Berkeley. Oh my goodness, my nose is so itchy we got little uh, bristles that's the one thing about the chip brushes you know they're so inexpensive and cheap and they kind of shed hi Tony how are you sweet friend Sorry if I missed any of you. I just want to make sure that I get this done because I'm kind of excited about it. I've never done anything like this before. But, you know, when Pinterest yells at you to make something, when it inspires you, you have to listen. And I had seen something that inspired me to buy the old scissors at the, at the antique mall. But then I just took it a... A step further because <laughs> why not isn't that what we do hi Debbie from secondhand treasures how are you thanks for joining me this morning I'm sorry I'm sniffing and my nose is itchy you guys I'm trying to get through this I'm a trying. Okay. And just for live purposes, I'm not going to worry about finishing the back, but I will. I always finish my backs. Because nine out of ten times, um, somebody will message me and want it, and I like to have everything done. So... Let's go ahead and get this done. I'm doing okay. I'm struggling with some kind of crud. I'm not sure what it is, but things could be much worse. Let me get this black off me. Getting all excited for the, for the Texas trip, you guys. I can't believe it. I was talking to Stephanie last night, like, 
we're like a month away. I'm so excited. Buenos dias, and Andrina, how are you? Hi, Teresa. Hi, Charlene at the Rustic Heart, how are you? Hi, Teresa. Melanie, I hope you're feeling good, my friend. Melanie from the from Cottonwood Cottage hasn't been feeling well either. Oh, yay, Rachel, you got your Magnolia, Magnolia order. So excited. Gina, did I say good morning to you? Good morning, my friend, Ginger Lee Creations. And I, I saw Monica from Texas Breeze Creations. Good morning. So we're gonna get this dried. Oh, Pam, I was so thrilled to see you post those um, faux oil lamps. You know, that was my very first live. And I, I told Stephanie, I went back and I watched that. Oh my goodness, how funny. Because I thought about, like, since I saw it was such a big hit and the Rusty Crew, I'm like, maybe I should do that on a live again. Because I have a whole bunch of new friends now. Good morning, Sue. So yeah, you brought that out. That's That was... July 31st, that was my very first live ever. I couldn't believe when I saw that you made those, Pam. Thank you for sharing that. So maybe we just need to have everybody who's interested grab those hummingbird feeders now from the Dollar Tree because it's the season. I can do the oil lamps. You know what else I want to do, you guys, is the vintage fan. Remember when I did the scale, everybody was talking about me doing the vintage fan? I could do that too. Good morning, Kathy. I know, Rachel. We don't know where we're putting everything either, girl. Good morning, Evelyn. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are so kind. I just love you all. So, um, I did... I did my molds and I put them on there last night. I forgot to mention this. I glued them to my my wood surface with tight bond, quick and thick. And this wood cutout tag came from Julie whoop, at D and J Craft and Creations. Thank you, Monica. Yeah, the vintage scale. The only thing that's holding me up is I have to figure out what to use. Um, to attach the actual, like the fan face or the wreath forms that we use to make the fan. Because it, I only ever saw one person do this. And I don't know who it was and I can't find her again because it was like a year and a half ago. But she used one of those cat toys that you used to be able to find at any Dollar Tree, any Dollar General, at Walmart. But they don't sell those kind anymore. So I'm thinking of maybe making something with the air-dried clay. i got to find a piece to replace that. So if you see windmills at the Dollar Tree, because now's the season for that. Thank you, Teresa from Jeremiah Dreams. Um, you'll need a windmill, and you'll need two of the small wreath forms. What I, I think they're the 8-inch ones. And a funnel. I got the ones in the kitchen. It comes in a set of three in the kitchen department. Um, so, yeah. I'll let you guys know. I will work on that. We'll work on the vintage fan. What else did I say? Oh, the, the faux oil lamps. So, get your 8-inch rings or wreath forms. Get your funnels. Get your windmills. And I'm only telling you that because if you're interested, now's the time. You know how um, Dollar Tree only has things available for a limited amount of time. So there's your little there's your little to do list, guys. And then I will post and let you know when it's going to happen. So um, I gotta figure out something to use instead of that cat ball. Hi, 
Deb, my friend Deb from Art and Grace. Hi, Dawn Carol. I didn't see you hop on, my friend. Thank you guys all for being here. I appreciate you. Totally understand. Luckily, I have the wreath worms in the windmill. And you know what, you guys? I know summer from Hammond's Nest, I think it was last year sometime, I had a bunch of those windmills because when I saw them, you know, I do what we do. I hoarded them. Like, I had eight, I think. Some were on the picks that you stick in the ground, and some were just that had the little welcome thing. Um, she had made... Um, Um, oh, just a wood base. I stained it. I drilled holes, holes in it. I took the welcome sign off. I rusted it up a little bit. I glued it down into the holes. And like some of them, I took the, the wood, the Scrabble tiles and I put like farm life or home or whatever. I sold every single one of those things at the, at my booth. Like I could, I couldn't believe it. So now here's me wanting to get more, um, windmills. Finally got rid of them, but now I want more. Okay, I'm just going to take a sander, and I'm going to go around here just to dis make it smooth, distress it a little bit. Because I want those edges to be sanded off. Anybody able to uh, go to Scrappy's Rustics and get those, get those molds? There was three left, you guys, so I don't know how often she restocks. I just bought an um, IOD transfer from her. I can't wait to get it. I've been wanting it. It's the, I think it's called Brigante. It's the one with the birds. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little sanding in here, get the brush marks out. Spilling my coffee, and I am going over my clay because you know we don't want it to look solid, we want it to be. I'm just lightly going over it to distress it some. Okay, let me get all this black dust. I know, Amanda, I don't know how I live so long without that gator sander. It's amazing, it is amazing. Okay, now I am going to, so this is what we have so far, guys. That's it. So now what I'm going to do is clean this up because I see me spilling it. Just the mindset that I'm in today, I'll probably end up wearing the black paint. Seriously, black paint is messy. Just keeping an eye on the time because sometimes I'm I forget that I'm actually like on craft around the clock and I have to remember 45 minutes. Thanks, Kathy, my friend. Good morning, Julie. There's Julie from DJ Craft and Creations. That's who I got the, the wooden tag from. Okay, so I'm gonna brush this off, make sure there's no no dust on it. And we're going to start attaching things. So here's the paper that I have, the Tim Holtz Ideology. And see, they're all double-sided. You guys, this pack is amazing. I can't believe I've had it for this long and I've never used it. Well, wait. Yes, I can. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge. I can totally believe it because we buy things. Oh, listen, I remember being afraid of 45 minutes. Now I wish everything was just 45 minutes. Good morning, Cecilia. So I'm just going to take an old brush and I'm going to brush on my Mod Podge. Or I'm going to stick the whole thing in there because, because I can't see it. And I'm just putting a generous amount on. Because this is kind of like cardstock weight. If I said that right, it's kind of thicker paper. So we're going to put this in here. And 
and you don't have to do this, but I'm not ironing or, or anything. This paper is so thick, I really don't think it's going to bubble. And you guys all know, I am perfectly fine with imperfections. I like them. Okay, so then I also got this coffee stain doily from the antique store where my booth is. We're going to put that down there. I got these black handled rusty old scissors. You guys, I had to tell you, my husband brings home these kind of scissors from work. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to throw those in some solution. You know, the peroxide, the salt, and the vinegar. And I left them bad boys sitting there for seven days and they never rusted. There's too much of a finish on them. So I bought these for $3 at the, at the antique mall. We're going to put that like that. I have my rusty fabric from Jill at Rusty Leaf Studio, you guys. Go check her out. She has an Etsy shop. And I'm just putting these safety pins that I rusted through this fabric in no particular order. Hello, Anne from Ireland. Chilly there too, huh? I'm just putting these on here randomly. I wish I had an old thimble. I thought I had my mom's old thimble but I couldn't find it. So, I mean, you could take this in so many directions. You know, antique spools, thread spools. All the ones that I had, like from my mom and everything were plastic because I was just gonna like stain them and make them look old and set them in there, but I, did, I couldn't. So let's see, let's put this like that. I'm going to put that like that. And I have three buttons picked out, but I don't know that I love them. So let me look through here because we have time. Maybe I want some smaller ones. The solution that I use to rust is, and I don't measure anything, but I found it from Faith Chick 777 on YouTube. And it's um, distilled white vinegar, peroxide, and salt. You will have to check out her channel to get the measurements because I just dump and pour and then it'll start foaming and you let it sit there until you reach your delight, desired level of rust. So I'm just trying to pick out some other, I think, honestly, oh, those are the same. How did I get so lucky? How did I do that? And you know, we have to do things in threes, right? So, I am going to take, you guys, maybe we need to talk a little bit because it's going pretty fast. Hi, Debbie Lee, how are you? I'm gonna put this in here. Thanks, Maureen. Maybe I'm not. Let me hold on. And I'm not going to on here, but I'm going to attach these with, with hot glue for the live. But what I'm going to do is get a U, a U nail, and then I'll put it right here and right there to hold these permanently. I'm not sure if I'm keeping this or if I'll sell it. So, you know, the scissors are too heavy to just have with hot glue. So I'm just applying little dots of hot glue to the, underneath the doily to attach it. Not a whole lot. And this hot glue, I cannot wait till it's gone. I got a bum package from Gorilla Glue. I've never had problem with their hot glue until this package. It just literally drips everywhere. It's so stringy and messy. Image is your... It is from a pack from Tim Holtz. It's called Ideology and double-sided sheets. Just random. Can you guys see that? All kinds of neat things in there. 
This is seriously like a, a, a very nice package and I got it 40% off. Like, look at that. All kinds of different, like, in, like, like the old library cards. There's even one that was in here. It was so neat, like this one. I think that's so cool. Remember when they used to teach you cursive writing? <laughs> they used that paper. A re little report card. Like all kinds of things. There's postcards. It's a real fun, real fun package of paper. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Yes, very nice textures. Okay, so with this, I'm going to glue this as well this rusted fabric. Jill, I don't know if you're on here, but I ha I forgot that I had this and Stephanie had to remind me. Do you have any of the rusted fabric from Jill? I'm like, oh yes, I do. Every time she posts her bundles on Etsy, you guys, she sells out. So don't sleep on the Rusty Leaf Studio. She's new and she's doing very, very well. You know, Lori, I've never had them before. And then I also got another one. They're like little pocket cards. But just the, the prints on them are just so cute. And then I got a paper roll. I don't know where that is. Things are closing in on me, you guys. I need to start using. Did I get what? Did you get them from Timu? No, I got them from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so now we're going to put my, my scissors on. I'm going to open them a little bit. And like I said, I'm just going to hot glue them now, but I am going to use U-nails. Because I want this to, um, you know, to stay. Yes, a forgotten talent, cursive writing. You're absolutely right, Amanda. I know I missed out on her stuff last time she stalked. I think she's stalking again. It's it's coming up, I think, Lois. Hi, Lois from Wild Child Mercantile. Oh, Stephanie, it's okay. I knew that you you had her today. It's okay. Do your do your grandma thing. I know what it's like when you have a, when you're babysitting. Trust, trust me. I think I'm gonna put those there and then I think I'll put these going down like this. What do you guys think about that? I like that. And then we're gonna like distress or maybe wax. I think we're gonna wax. We're gonna wax the surface and the molds. Boy, this project I knew was going to be easy, but I didn't know I was going to get done so early. Sorry for my nose, you guys. But I didn't want to cancel. I mean, like, I don't feel bad enough to cancel, but... I took my Mucinex this morning. See, it's just so stringy and I know hot glue is stringy trust me I know but this is just crazy stringy it is a mess good morning Donna how are you get these strings out of the way here Okay, so this is what we have so far, you guys. Isn't that cute? I just love that. Love it, love it, love it. I've never done anything like that, so I was pretty excited about it. So now let's get some wax. I think we're going to try for the brown wax. I want to see what that does on the black. What do you guys think? I just have a piece of old t-shirt that I tore up. Thank you. 
and I'll show you the can. This is Bear, and it's just called Dark Antique. Just called Dark Antique. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Kathy. I can't wait to see you guys. Kathy from Farmhouse Glitter is up next. So make sure you stick around and see what she's got up her sleeve. Kathy's very vintage and very talented. So don't go anywhere. You can run to the bathroom and you can run for a beverage, but then you got to come back, okay? You got to come back. And I'm just using this, I'm just going around lightly, like I'm not putting a whole lot on. And then we'll go around and rub it in. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Ann. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. I'm just going... Going around, going around. <laughs> okay, now let me take this and just kind of kind of rub it in. And I think we're going to put some rusty wire in the top. Because why not, right? Let's continue the rusty theme. Guys, I, I know that you know I'm obsessed with the wax now, and I, I apologize, but you know when we learn new things, and that's what I'm trying to do on my page, like, not just do the same thing all the time, like introduce new techniques, like why not learn with you guys, right? Instead of just doing the same thing all the time, I just... Want to switch it up and try new techniques, do different textures, different products. So I hope you guys don't mind that. I think it's fun to learn. I think it's very fun to learn. And what better place to learn than with you guys? Because a lot of you know a lot more than me, so you guys can teach me a lot. You know, I think I painted over my hole here, so maybe we won't be putting rusty wire in here. Where's my Cricut tool? I, I prefer it as a leaner anyway. I was just going to do it. There we go. You know, your Cricut tools come in handy for lots of things other than just vinyl. <laughs> yes, exactly, Lois. It just keeps us growing. It, you know, sometimes things just get stale. And I don't want to get stale. I want to just keep doing things. I want to grow and learn. Okay, so in my rusty bucket of goodness... First, I'm gonna take a drink. We still have, oh, we still have a lot of time. There's my friend Mandy from Western Grace Home Decor. Mandy, did you see? This is way out of my comfort zone, sister. I don't know, I like it. It's very different. But you know, it's all over Pinterest, like all over Pinterest. So, exactly, Kathy, you're right. Kathy, the country goats. Check out my girl, Kathy. She's been a loyal follower to a lot of us, and now she has, I know, <laughs> Andrina, like, seriously, speed craft. I don't think I've ever been done so early before. I mean, I really had time to do the back, didn't I? That's okay. We can take turn, take our time. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I just said, Kathy. I had time to do the back. Well, let's do this. 
where's my wire cutters? Probably right where I put them, right? You know, I was thinking last night when I was laying down to go to sleep, as a true creator does, I'm a quilter. Oh, that would be great, Glenda. Is that Glenda? Yes, Glenda. And I think I'm gonna pull these up and I'm gonna twist it around like this. You guys, this is just 18 gauge wire that I got from Walmart and I rusted this myself also with that same solution. I'm going to just pinch that together a little bit. I don't want to cut it. I want to pinch it. Just broke my nail. The older I get, the drier my nails get. Like, it's hard to keep them nice. Of course, all the abuse they take from the chemicals and the paint and the washing of the hands. There we go. I just want to squeeze that together. And you guys, for this, I'm going to twist this. I'm going to twist this up at the top because I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be walky. What do you guys think? You like it? couple rusty needles on it. I don't have any rusty needles. I just have the rusty um, safety pins. I know. I mean, like you, there's so many different things you could do with this, like seriously. And that's what I liked, options. Like inspire you, like I was inspired on Pinterest and you can take it, ow and put your twist on it. It would be cute to, um, I guess I shouldn't pull that because that's skin. It would be cute to do it like in a shadow box. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, there was something else. We're gonna take some of this rub, rub and buff, not a whole lot. You guys, I really burnt my finger bad. Thank you, Regina. And this is the antique gold. And I'm just going over it very, very lightly. I need to get some more colors of this. This literally just takes things to the next level. I bought this stuff like, I don't know, last year before I even had a page. Because some creator that I watched used it. And I don't remember who it was. And I've just recently been using it again. I know Mandy at Western Grace. She, uh, she is a rub and buff fanatic. She has all the colors. A lot of people don't like the way it smells. I'm a weirdo and I love smells like this. I don't know why, I just do. Like spray paint, stain. My husband's always, he would come out in the garage and be like, oh my gosh, how can you stand this? I'm like, I think it smells good. It's probably not a good thing, but I do, I like it. Got a little bit too much right there. So I'm just taking a wet wipe, a wipey, and I'm just gonna dry that off a little bit. Yes, there is a lot. There's a lot going on. I have gold fingers. <laughs> Isn't that weird, Adrena? Like, I love the smell of that kind of stuff. I don't know why but I do. But look at that. How could you not love this?
Look what the rub and buff does to it. Like just takes it up a notch. These, um, seriously, if you guys go to um, Hobby Lobby, here's the other thing that I got, the Tim Holtz. It's called collage paper. And look how cute, like look how cute that is. I can't wait to do a, a project with this. I don't know. You just, Tim Holtz products are just fabulous, like seriously. So um, I guess we could talk. Hi, Jan from Fine Again Finds 2. How are you? Thank you. In your daughter's salon. Oh, well, I take that as a compliment. I think it's gorgeous. I love it. We have about four minutes. Thank you, Lois. Thank you, Gwen. Hi, Shelly. I didn't see you on. Want me to bring... Oh, okay. Hi, Joanne. Thank you so much. Thank you, Debbie. I didn't see you either. Thank you guys all for being here. I appreciate you all so very much. Putting up with my, my stuffy nose and my sniffling. I'll figure it out, Kim. I'm going to make a project with it sometime soon. Thank you, Anne. Thanks, Elaine. Thank you, Kathy. And you guys remember... You can run to the bathroom and you can run and get a drink, but you got to come back for our girl, Kathy, at Farmhouse Glitter. She is up next in Crafter on the Clock. She makes amazing vintage pieces, so you don't want to miss it. Thank you, Melinda. Um, this tag cutout is available from Julie at D&J Craft and Creations. The molds for the IOD that, or the IOD molds that I used, trimmings too they're in the links it's pinned thank you for the stars lori um it's pinned in my links um takes you straight to scrappy's rustics um she had three of these left this morning so if you're needing these in your life you might want to get them and i i mean they do have iod clay which i do have but it's very pricey so in my amazon store which is also linked I get the air dry clay and it's Crayola and it's actually a bigger tub than this. And I think it's $10 um, for the IOD. You get a package kind of like a rectangle like this and it's about that thick and it's like $13.99. So, I mean, you do what you need to do, but I just like to spend money on other things too. So. So yeah, I tried to get everything there for you. And remember, if you are interested in any Magnolia stencils, I am a Magnolia creator. My link is on my page. Message me if you have any questions about stencils or anything, and I will help you. I will always return your messages, always. So yeah, guys, here we are. My beautiful project. Does anybody have any questions? I literally burnt my fingers so, so bad. Somebody said something about Joanne Fabrics. My Hobby Lobby has not had Tim Holtz on sale for a long time. Oh, Joanne Fabrics has it on sale. That's good. That's good. See, Brenda, hi, girlfriend. Um, Brenda Hackett, that would be really good. Like, you could take this in so many directions. It would be perfect. I did look in my, um, I had just a few things of my mom's left from her sewing machine and I thought I had a spindle. I'm going to poke my eye out or not a spindle. The thing you put on your thumb. I can't even think of what it's called now anyway, but I couldn't find it. I didn't have anything. So, but those of you who do have stuff like that. Hi, Tammy. How are you? Tammy hooker. I'm glad you're here. I rust things by doing. We have one minute left. Remember, stay here with Farmhouse Glitter. Um, Faith Chick 777 on YouTube. She has um, just type in how to rust metals. And it's peroxide, distilled white vinegar, and salt. 
probably things you already have in your home. I have to go. Thank you all for joining me. I love you all. Have a great day. Bye.